if you look right down here about 10 meters away from us you'll see a nice big yellow phase laying on top perched up on the rock and just below her is a dark phase rattlesnake. My name is David Garst. I'm a graduate student in Virginia Tech working on timber rattlesnakes. I'm being funded currently by the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries under a state wildlife grant. This area, these, these exposed rocky areas like we're sitting in here are places where the gravid females come to gestate throughout the summertime. And what we're doing here, we're surveying these these gravid females are using, kind of just checking for the presence of rattlesnakes in these areas. Here's one right here. You see where? Come here. Right. One of the, the purposes of this project is to look at look at these snakes on, on kind of a statewide scale and see where they are, where they're not, and kind of look look at some of the local land use problems over some of these areas and see what, what landscape level things may be affecting these snakes. In Northern Virginia right now, I know of several populations that are being, being severely threatened by home development, subdivisions going in, or just really, they're just putting them in right around these little, these little small kind of Blue Ridge Outlier mountains and just, just choking these snakes out. Other places like Lee County, Scott County, coal mining, strip mining is, you know, just wiping out habitat. All the venomous snakes in Virginia give live birth, the water moccasins, copperheads, and, and the timber rattlesnake. And when these neonates are born, there could be anywhere from maybe 2 to 14 or 15 per female. With an, it averages somewhere around seven or eight usually, and they're about 11 inches long when they're born. Some of these females here may be greater than 20 years old. What we're seeing here are, are gravid females, and there's at least one, one postpartum female in here somewhere, just based on the evidence of the few neonates we're seeing. And she probably has given birth within the last 24 to 48 hours, I would say. These snakes primarily are feeding probably on white-footed mice and deer mice, just because it's the most abundant thing out there. I think they really like to get, get a hold of, of chipmunks and voles if they can, because they're, they're a little bit bigger piece of food, but they're not, it's not like trying to eat a squirrel where they're so big that once the snake gets it down, it's going to be a real hindrance to the snake to actually have to find some place to spend four or five weeks digesting it. These, snake, these snakes serve, they, they serve an ecosystem function. They are a predator in, in the eastern deciduous forest. They, they, they serve as a control for rodent populations and other things like that. And just, you know, just as they are a predator, they serve as prey for some other species, like coyotes, great horned owls, barred owls, red-tailed hawks. They have their place in this system just as much as everything else. I would just about 100% disagree with, with people saying that, that snakes are mean and aggressive. To, to a snake, you are viewed as a predator. And the one thing these snakes want to do is get away from you. And by harassing the snake and, and poking at it, you're not letting that snake just go on or just leaving it alone. And, and what you're you're doing is you're you are eliciting a defensive response from the snake. The snake's gonna get gonna get all agitated and wind up and probably strike at you. But if you just if you leave these snakes alone and just you know either just observe them from a distance or if you don't like snakes just go away from them, just go around them, leave them alone. You'll never have problems with them. We want to find out what's going on with these things before it gets too late. Before we need to give them protective status. Because rattlesnakes as a whole are something that are truly American. They're not found in Southeast Asia or Europe or anywhere else in Africa. It's something that we can we can claim as our own, and I think we need to need to give them some level of protection.